It is 7.06 and new this morning. We're hearing from two people inside of a popular New Hampshire hotel when it caught fire over the weekend. This is investigators are still looking into what caused a big part of the Red Jacket Mountain View Resort to become engulfed in flames. Kayla Fish live in studio with more on the couple's dramatic escape. Well, this was a vacation that quickly turned into a nightmare for Paul Beavis and his girlfriend Megan Bean. The two were staying on the third floor of the Red Jacket Mountain View Resort when they woke to find their room full of smoke. Decided he was going to jump over the third floor railing of the balcony and drop down to the second floor. It was in the south wing of the iconic hotel in the White Mountains where flames broke out on Saturday afternoon. First responders from dozens of departments all around the state rushing to help put it out as guests like Paul and Megan were forced to jump from upper level to lower level balconies. Paul describing the dramatic rescue to Boston 25 News saying he carried Megan's five year old son to safety then went back in for her. And they wouldn't let me run back in, but I pushed him out of my way because I wasn't leaving my girlfriend in there. He screamed, you need to jump. And there was an officer down on the ground level on the grass and he screamed, you need to jump now. And there was just this loud like noise and I just jumped. I don't know how he caught me because when I went over, I didn't go directly down how he did. I just jumped to get out of there before I didn't know what was exploding. Now, luckily, they're all right. Medics ended up transporting four people, including two firefighters, to the hospital. All are expected to be OK. This morning, the fire remains under investigation, though officials have said there were no sprinklers in the wing of the hotel that caught fire. A spokesperson for the hotel telling New Hampshire TV station WMUR that the resort will be closed for the foreseeable future. Live in studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.